there, it's Margaret from Hearts and Home, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly cook pinto beans using your pressure cooker. The only thing you're going to need are your beans, pressure cooker, and a container that will hold your beans plus enough water to cover the beans by a couple of inches. All right, the first step is to soak your beans overnight. You will want to wash them first and drain them, then pour them into a container that has enough room so that when you add the water, the beans are covered with at least two to three inches of water. Put them in your refrigerator, let them soak overnight. Now my beans, these beans have soaked overnight in the refrigerator. They've been rinsed and are now in my pressure cooker. I poured enough water into the pressure cooker to cover the beans with about four, maybe five inches of water. You're gonna put your lid on, lock it, set the burner to a medium high temperature. What we're going to be watching for now is for steam to start coming out of the steam vent. Okay, steam has begun to flow steadily from the vent, so I'm now going to place my rocker weight on top of the vent. Once the rocker weight's on there, what you're watching for is for the pressure indicator to pop up. Okay, once your pressure indicator pops up, you know to begin watching your, your gauge. What I'm watching for is for my gauge to reach 10 PSI. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and set the timer. Pinto beans take about four to seven minutes. Since I'm planning on canning these, once I'm done, I'm gonna turn them off um, after they've been at the um, correct pressure for about four minutes. Okay, so it's been about four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my burner off. And I'm gonna slide the pressure cooker back off of the burner so that it can start to cool down. We're gonna leave the weight in place until the pressure comes all the way down. You'll know the pressure is all the way down because your gauge will move to zero and the pressure indicator will drop. The pressure has slowly been releasing. We're not going to open the lid though until the pressure indicator fully drops on its own. At that point, we'll take the rocker off and go ahead and open the lid. Okay, the temperature is down to zero and the gauge has dropped. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And you always want to open the pressure canner away from you. Okay. As you can see, we've got a nice big pan of pinto beans. I'll go ahead and scoop those out and um, get them ready for canning. 